What's up guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Game of Thrones battle for you and this time it is a ambush and if you've probably seen the thumbnail you can tell and you've read the title you know it's the ambush at the, at the Whispering Woods also known as the Battle of the Whispering Woods where this chap, Jamie Lannister, gets captured and I think we're in season 1, maybe 2 I can't really remember, it's so long ago, I need to go back and rewatch them. Um, but he gets captured in the Battle of Whispering Wood, and then he uh, escapes a couple of times, and then uh, kills a few guards as well, and a car Stark or two. And then uh, Catelyn Stark sets him free to go and save uh, her daughters, because, you know, they're apparently... More important than a war effort because at that point the Starks were really winning the war, and it's just infuri infuriating that um, to watch her do that. But anyway, as you can see here, Jamie is at the head of a huge Lannister army, and I mean huge. Like it goes on and on and on. We've got men at arms, guardsmen here. All of these are uh, swords, um, and then. We have all we have spears here, guardsmen spears. And then what do we have at the back here? We have guardsmen um mounted. These guys just look amazing. Let's find look at that. Look at that model. I can't the Lannises are I know they're the baddies, but they have the best goddamn uniforms and armour. Like there's I mean there's not many that can really I th it might uh, I don't know, it's close close with a... I don't know, for some reason I do like some of the uh, northern armour. Let's look, let's find some, like the Starks, I mean, it's pretty basic, but it just at the same time looks pretty good. Same with the uh, Veil, vale. they have some very good looking armour. And actually, um, some of the, I will uh, show you the map anyway quickly, well and all the forces. We have uh, most of the north here, most of the northern houses have uh, turned up, so we have House Glover here. I like House Glover to be fair as well, they look very, very nice. They've got uh, square shields, very different, very uh, unique. Everyone else has got like circular or um, or triangular shields like the Karstarks and the Boltons, which we have not seen yet, but I plan to do a Battle of the Bastards battle at some point. I'll try and get Scrim to get involved in that. And uh, yes, they have, there you go, the Flayed Man is finally in one of my battles. And let's quickly look at the Karstarks again. I don't think we've really seen them too much. They look pretty... Uh, they look very unique. They've got just like chain mail on their heads and then not many of them have got helmets, which is a bit worrying. What if like you get hit on the head, guys? What are you going to do? But anyway, and then you've got the main man who's uh, dead. And apparently he's got a great view of the battlefield, being able to see through a tree. How are you going to see when to ambush, Rob? You can't see anything. Like, sir, they're, they're walking past. Should we attack? Um, Give me five minutes. I'm just trying to get around this tree. I mean, yes, so Jamie Lannister is in prime position for him, and who else do we have? We have House Umber. Of course, the great John Umber. Uh, I don't think there is a... There might be a model for him. I haven't really looked. Um, but yes, I'm... For now, he's being represented with uh, some guardsmen mounted. So, yes, we outnumber them in cavalry, and uh, but they outnumber us in infantry. So, that could be the, uh, the killing blow. The killing blow, as they say. And then, yes, they've got archers in the front as well, do the Lannisters. And we have archers behind our cavalry, ready to shoot these guys down. The the archers and uh, Jamie Lannister are the prime target for the uh, for the cavalry. Everyone else can just attack anyone. And there's a few traps up um, on the edges there of our formations, the edges there, so the cavalry can't attack. Because you know we've had preparations, we've had a little bit of preparation to sort out this out. So anyway, I am going to uh, begin the battle. We will have this and we'll keep it in slow mo. I'll just put a few orders on. So, uh. Because ambushes are a very quick paced uh, sort of style of game. Ooh, actually. Eh. Yeah, just fire at whoever you want. Uh, just fire at whoever. Cancel that, just shoot at whoever. I wanted you. You shoot it, hit. Uh, you attack whoever. Attack whoever. Um. I could really probably actually done this of in the game, but hey, I want to kind of catch all the awesome charges. 
So we'll do this side. Um, this side, I will wait because the cavalry probably will come this way and attack. But we'll see. Anyway, let's get a majestic... Let's get a good look at this charge as it comes in. Can't really get the shit. The sh look at that. Boof. In. Those Lannister um, cavalry are done for. So, anyway, we'll uh, come out of. Oh, come out of that. And we will uh, send in the infantry. So, I hope you guys have uh, in been enjoying my Game of Thrones battles that I've been doing for you. I will uh, we'll put it a bit more fast paced now. The enemy ja oh Jamie Lannister is already dead. Wow. I didn't even get a chance to see him really fight. So uh, Jamie Lannister's dead. But in uh, in reality he's just been captured. We just captured him. That's all we did boys. We captured the blighter. Okay, so we've got stuff going on over here. So the Boltons and the uh, Starks are fighting side by side against the Lannisters. Not for long though, soon the Boltons will join the... Did that guy just jump on his horse? That guy just jumped on his horse. Um, so, but yeah, soon the Boltons will change sides and fight with the Lannisters. Oh, what a confusing world it is. But yeah, so the Archers are just firing at will. Um, the Glovers seem like they're in a bit of trouble over here. Yep, the Glovers have gone there. Hopefully we win this because, you know, this is a, a stark victory in reality. So let's have a good look at the battle line as it comes in, the stark horsemen. The only annoying thing is that we still have the barbarian shouts for, uh, for the models, really. So you just like, you just hear like barbarians going off, like, what on earth is going on? We're not in, we're not in Rome. But anyway, let's have a bit of slow-mo. Let's see a few slow-mo kills. Oof, that guy there got absolute, just got shot in the back. Friendly fire going on there. Looks like the spearmen and uh, Lannister spears are holding up well. You attack that way, you cast dark scum. Or, uh, not cast dark, glovers, you glovers. Oof, that was good. That was good. This guy just dodged it. Oof. And then nicely through there. He was... Give that guy a knighthood. He just, like, dodged someone and then, um... St stabbed them in the throat. Nasty. Okay, we've got, like, a gathering of horsemen going up here. Can you guys kind of join the fight? That's probably why we're losing the fight, because no one's actually fighting each other. God damn it. Can't get the staff these days. But it does look like it's going to be a bit of a bloody fight. Just a little. Just a little bloody. Oh, we've got, um... Oh, you're still fighting over here, actually. But you keep fighting that. Keep fighting the good fight. Um, We'll send you over to help. And then let's keep, uh, let's keep having a look. Come on, Glovers. So it looks like uh, Lannisters are falling back. They are being beaten back as it, as uh, the Northern Tide comes on. But I mean, we're running out of we're running out of forces quite quickly. Oof! Come on, kill that guy. It's it's looking very very dire for the Lannisters. Is what I was gonna say, but uh, I just saw something and I was like. No, I'm not not sure that's right. I think I just saw like a a guy like levitating on his horse. There's like no horse, and there's just the guy. But I could be wrong. He's probably died or disappeared now into the masses. But yes, so we are nearly at the end of this battle. I think the uh, let's have a quick look at what's going on over here. We're we gonna win this little engagement here because we're getting a bit um, picked off over in the, on the flanks. I think the uh, these guys have been killing my archers. Bastards. 
Yep, that guy's just come off his horse, poor guy. Unlucky. And then, uh, yeah, we've we've run them down. They've just oh yeah, there you go. Guy, a couple of the guys levitating on with no horses. Our ambush troops been detected. I'd hope so. We've been attacking them for about ten minutes. There you go. You finally doing something as well. Good, good. Let's uh, watch this charge come in the back. This guy here, he's going to get a couple of kills. You can tell, you can tell. Look at him. Boof. Yeah, that's a few. Oof. That impact was a bit lagged or off. Kind of was in there and everyone just went poof after. Disappeared. And here come in the infantry to support this guy. Is he going to die? I'm going to call you Steve. Steve, you're going to survive this battle. How somebody you're going to represent them. Oh. He's got... F oh, Steve's dead. Damn it. F in the F in the comments for Steve, please. But no, we look like we're going to win this one. As it happened in the books and the series. I, uh... Also, give me... Uh, you... Please, guys, give me your reactions to Season 8 uh, in the comments. Uh, I didn't really, uh... Didn't really ask when it came out. But uh, I'd like to know what you thought. Oh, God. You can just see, like... The field full of levitating Lannister men. God, it's a scene. It's a sight to behold. It's the new wonders of the earth. Was that, uh, oh, more Lannister. The men are broken and running for their lives. There's Lannister. Guardsmen just dotting around out there. Okay. Oh, no, the archers are still intact. Um, can I get all the archers to focus down on killing the Lannisters? They're, like, just floating around over there. But yes, I'd like to know what you guys think. Did you enjoy the ending? Did you not? What would you have done if uh, instead? So, so yeah, like, for instance, would you rather have had someone else kill Danny? Or would you rather Danny survived? Just tell me what you'd rather have uh, happened instead. I think Danny had to die, in my opinion. But you guys have your own opinion, and that's fine. Anyway, let's quickly finish this battle. Can't let anyone get away. Can't let anyone know. Of what's happened here in the Whispering Wood. I mean, quite a lot of people are going to find out anyway. And they find out. Because, like, however many thousands of men disappear. But that's not the point. No one's allowed to know. You've got to be able to get to River Run And, uh, take them out. I'm thinking of doing, um, another battle. Uh, around this sort of, same sort of period. But a little bit before. Plan on doing the Battle of Ox... I think it's Ox Cross. I'll need to uh, check up on the name, but that's the battle where Edmir Tully uh, loses uh, to the Lannister forces when the Lannisters invade the Riverlands. It'd be quite a good one to do, and it allows me to show off uh, the Tully faction for you guys, because I think that's one of the few that I've let yet to show. Them and the Tyrells, I think. And maybe the, I think House Iron as well, actually, I haven't shown. But yep, yeah, there you go. We've won the battle. Uh, and we're done. There was some of the... Good thing we didn't run into those any of those defenses. That would be nasty. But anyway, we'll end the uh, end the battle and we'll have a look at the uh, statistics and then the figures quickly. So oh, Rob Stark very nearly losing his uh, his life and his most of his bodyguards gone anyway. Um, but he got 252 kills for that though. It was a great sacrifice, brought great reward. The arch is not doing much. This one's getting murdered. Um, I. Imagine by Lannister Cavalry. Uh, the Guardsmen doing very fairly well. This one not doing great for House Bolton, but that's okay. It's House Bolton. Bolton. No one likes them. And then the Car Stark's doing well. Oh, another random Stark uh, sword there. Didn't realize him. House uh, Glover doing. This one didn't do so well. It got kind of picked off and um, isolated. This one doing okay. And then the Cavalry just doing amazing just all nearly getting 100 kills this one's the only one that's not but yeah all everyone else got 100 archers here getting like no kills but that was good that was the idea and then i'm guessing these couple of uh, lannister units here are the ones that got hit in the initial ambush and broke fairly quickly jamie lannister's bodyguard not doing too great and the cavalry for the uh, lannister's probably doing the best 
Um, this one getting 200 kills, that's fairly good. And then, yes, okay figures here, but yes, we, it's against the AI. What do you expect? It's a, uh, it's not going to do as well. So I'm going to try and get some more battles with Scrim, and maybe a few other, I'll probably try and get a few other people to try and uh, do some battles. It is uh, my ever, ever going task to find more people to fight against. But yeah, if you want to fight against me, please let me know, drop in the comment, and uh, I'll get in touch with you possibly, and we can try and sort out some battles. But um, as you can see there, again, the battle duration, four minutes, is really quick. That's why ambushes I like to do in slow-mo, so you can uh, see what happens. And against the AI, it's always going to be quicker as well. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this battle slash am ambush, uh, please leave a like, and if you're new around here, subscribe as well. Um, it's really appreciated. Let's try and hit 250 subs. It'll be amazing. And until next time, guys, bye for now.